Hi, Tim Unkert from Unkert Media here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the sum of 1 to a number n in Java in two different ways. The first way will have a runtime complexity of O of 1, and the second way will have a runtime complexity of O of n. And we're going to see how much slower the second way is when working with big numbers. So let's get started. I'm going to bring up my side view here and you'll see I created a class called sum one to n that's what's actually open so I'm going to say here public class sum there we go auto completes for me public class sum one to n and we're going to create a main function here and then within the main function we're going to need an integer n we're going to need an integer sum one, and we're going to have an integer sum two, okay? Because we're going to have two different functions. Now, I want the user to be able to work with this program, so I'm going to take user input, and I'm going to use uh, the buffered reader class to do that. So I'm going to say buffered reader, and you'll see my IDE will import this java.io, the input output buffered reader. I'm going to say buffered reader br equals new buffered reader new input stream reader system dot in okay I'll put a semicolon there now we want to instruct the user to enter an integer so I'm going to say uh, we'll do s out is a shortcut for system dot out dot print line we'll say enter an integer okay and actually what i'm going to do is because i want large numbers i think i'm going to change this up and we're going to change this from an int to a long okay so that will give me a the ability to hold and work with a lot larger numbers okay so now i want to take in the long n <clears throat> so i'm going to say n equals integer dot parse int br dot read line and I'm going to put a semicolon at the end now this is telling me that I need to do something here now, if I hover over it let's see if it'll pop up it says unhandled exception java.io.io exception so if I want to fix that I'm just going to do alt shift enter and you'll see I'm importing this java.io.io exception and it added this code throws io exception okay so we need that when we're using this buffered reader and taking in read line. Okay, so now I've created this integer n. So I'm going to move out of this main class and I'm going to create a class or out of the main method, not class, and I'm going to create a method public static uh, long because we want to return a long and let's call this sum one to n. We're going to take in a long We'll just call it n, same thing. You can call it whatever you want, but just realize that we're going to use this now inside the function. Now, the O of 1 way of doing this is simply to return n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. The reason why this works, well, let's think about it. Let's take the sum of 1 to 5. So let me go down here. Let's make uh, a multi-line comment here. And let's do the sum of 1 to 5. So that'd be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So that's going to equal 15. Okay, now let's think about this. Does that equal 5? Is that equal to? Let's put a, a pseudocode. Is that equal to? Uh, and let's do 5 times 5 plus 1. Okay, so that's 5 times 6 divided by 2. So 5 times 6 divided by 2. So 30 divided by 2. So is that 15? Yes, it is. Let's take a look at 1 through 10. So we're going to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Okay, so that's going to equal 55. So I'm going to use the pseudocode here. Does that equal, well, does that equal 10 times 10 plus 1 divided by 2. So 
10 times 11 is 110 divided by 2. Yes, that equals 55. So that's how we're coming up with this formula here. And this is O of 1 complexity. Okay. All right. So now we're going to create another method uh, that's not going to be O of 1 complexity. So we're going to have O of n. So let's say public static long. Uh, let's just say another sum. Take in a long n, okay? And we're going to create a long sum inside of here equal to zero. So this is local to this function. So uh, talking about scope, it's local to this block of code. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for long i equals one. We'll start at one. i is less than or equal to n. So we're going to go from one all the way up to n. We're going to increment by one each time. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the sum, and each time we're going to add i, okay? And then at the end, we will return the sum, okay? So it's going to give me the same thing. We're just going to add up all the numbers. That's how we're doing it. But we're looping through every number, so it's, it's the time complexity O of n, okay? Not O of 1, which is faster. O of 1 is faster, okay? So um, what I'm going to do now is we've come up with some long, so sum one and sum two. So I'm going to say sum one equals sum one to n. We're going to pass in n, the number that we got from the user, and we'll print it out. We'll say uh, the sum of one to n equals, and we'll just do sum one here. Next, we're going to ca calculate sum 2. We're going to say that's equal to another sum, pass in n, and we'll print out, we'll do system.out.println, uh, the sum of 1 to n equals, and let's just make this clear that this is uh, big O of 1, and that this is big O of n, time complexity. Um, and we'll just do another equals for formatting here. I hope this makes sense. And then uh, we'll do plus, what is it, sum two? Sum two. Okay. And so what we're going to do now is uh, run the program. So let's do that. Okay. So I'm going to run it. It's going to take a moment to build and then run. Here we go. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's building, parsing Java. Okay. And here we go. We enter an integer. Uh, so let's just start with a small integer. Let's do 10. And we get those pretty much happening at the same time, right? Because we're starting with a num small number. So we get 55 and 55. Cool. Let's run it again. And let's this time, let's do a little bit bigger number. Let's do 1,000. So this is slightly larger. Pretty much the same time, we get 500, 500, or 500,500. 500. Okay, cool. All right, let's run it again. This time we'll jump it up to a million. Pretty much the same time, right? Still at a million, okay? Let's go big now. Let's go to a billion. Okay, so we're gonna do one and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so nine zeros. See, it hits that first one. Did you see that pause? That's why this time complexity is important because if we're working at a big tech company where you're taking in a billion or more queries, you're gonna have this big delay. Let's do one more. And Let's do five billion. So we did four zeros, one, two, three, four, five. We've got to have nine zeros. Uh-oh. Now we got an error. So we went too high. Okay. So let's try this again. Let me make sure. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We went too high with five billion. So it's throwing an error. Okay, it's not liking it. 
Let's go 2 billion. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, first sum we see. <laughs> now we got the second sum, okay? Took a while. Let's see if we can push it to 3 million. or 3 billion. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So nine zeros. I don't know why I group it by three, but I do. Ah, we're throwing an exception, okay? So we're going a little too high for even the long to figure it out. But, uh, so we probably have to go to long, long or something like that, or uh, big math or bring in the different library. But anyways, you got the point. You saw at 1 billion and at 2 billion, there was a, a market difference in the time execution of what we had with the O of 1 versus the O of N. So the O of 1 is much faster, uh, more efficient way of finding the sum from 1 to a number N. So if you're thinking about competing in a code competition and you want to do Java and a problem like this comes up, use this first method. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel as it really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.